What's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming and this right here is my mega monstrosity 12.9 inch iPad Pro that I just got a couple of days ago. I got this thing for school and for also editing some YouTube videos and thumbnails because the pen is really nice for editing thumbnails. But I thought, why not try this out with Call of Duty Mobile? And not only that, why not try out the claw method? See, every single video I have ever made on Call of Duty Mobile, I've been using thumbs. I've used two fingers and I've played on a phone. But I've never tried it out on a tablet and I've never tried more than two fingers. So this is going to be my very first time trying this out. And I thought, why not make a video on it? and share it with you guys. I hope you come along for the journey. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and please hit that subscribe button. It takes one second, it's free, and you can unsubscribe the second you don't enjoy my content. Um, please comment down below tips for me so I can get better with the claw method on an iPad. Because I am doing this based off of firsthand experience. I know nothing. I need your guys' help, so please give me tips. Anyways, with that being said, Let's get into this. So here we are. I just logged into my account, my main account. I didn't want to create a new account because I figured it would be kind of lame to be like level one. That way I can use my all my cool weapons. But um, I wanted to, before I actually jump into any gameplay, I wanted to show you guys sort of my logic with how I've set this up. I could have gone on YouTube and I could have looked up like, oh, best, you know, claw gameplay HUD setup stuff like that. But I wanted to do this like, as a trial and error, right? So I've set up what I would imagine as a better four finger HUD layout. Maybe it's completely wrong, but that's where you guys come in and you can critique what I am doing and give me feedback and suggestions. I'm gonna use my left thumb as my controls to move forward, backward, stuff like that. My left pointer finger is going to be using for firing, okay? My right pointer finger is going to be for aiming, and then my right thumb is going to be using the view, left and right, stuff like that, okay? Then also, I have done a couple of other things. I've raised up my sensitivity just a bit because I've heard from tons of people that when you're playing on a very big screen, you need to have your sensitivity raised up just a bit. So these are my sensitivity settings, in case you guys wondered. And then also, um, I've turned on the fixed joystick because I figure my thumb is going to be going all over the place, and it might actually mess me up if I don't have a fixed joystick. But then again, as I said, this is something that you guys can critique me on and give me your feedback. Anyways, we got a brand new game mode, and that brand new game mode is Going Dark TDM. And <laughs> I'm going to be trying out Summit at nighttime my very first time, also while I'm trying to use four fingers. And, uh, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Look at how dark it is. I can't see. I can't see. I could just hold my iPad up like this, and you wouldn't even be able to see me. What is this? Oh my god, there's night vision. Wow, okay, I was totally not expecting that. Were you expecting that, dude? I don't think he was. He just disappeared. That's how crazy, that's how freaked out he was. That's insane. All right, so it looks like we have night vision. This is very interesting. And it looks like my KN44 color spectrum has like a disease. That is so weird. Enemy in sight. Enemy in sight! First kill with the claw method ever! I feel very accomplished with myself. There's a guy right there. Oh, okay, all right. Well, immediate first impressions is it almost seems like recoil control is going to be quite a bit easier when you're using a tablet. Maybe that's obvious. I don't know, but I never really knew that. I figured it probably would be because like all the other YouTubers use tablets when they make Call of Duty mobile gameplay and it's not like they're... What the heck? What in the world? He was crouching like a snake. Are you kidding me right now? Most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. But yeah, the other YouTubers, they don't just use a tablet for fun. They use it for a reason. And I figure that's probably a good idea for me to eventually learn how to. All right. Okay. I I'm actually doing better than I originally thought. What in the world? Who's throwing flames at me? You! Dear Lord, this is so weird. It's so weird at, at nighttime. <laughs> Everything is the same color, and I feel like I'm going to miss a lot of players this way. But this is really neat. 
What do you guys think of Going Dark? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it kind of dumb? Do you think it's just like a really neat addition to this game? I am curious. Hey, hello, uh, little interruption here. We have a sponsor for today's video. I normally don't get sponsors, but that's pretty cool. The sponsor is on my hand right now. This is a watch, and it's not any ordinary watch. No, it's a smart watch, and it's made by the company Nubia. This watch is called the Nubia watch. Sort of makes sense, and it's pretty cool. Um, it's not for everybody, and I want to make that blatantly clear. This is not something that I would recommend everybody to just rush out and buy. But there are some people that this might be something of value to. If you like to measure your heart rate, this can do that conveniently on your hands. If you don't want to constantly have your phone in your hands and you get a call, you can answer on your watch and never have to pull your phone out of your pockets. If you get messages, you can see those messages on your watch, and you don't even have to use your phone at all for that. Unfortunately, if you're an iOS user, you can't use this with iMessage, so keep that in mind. But if you use something like WhatsApp or WeChat for your daily, everyday text messaging, this will work. Or the green SMS, of course, will work on this as well. If you want to do basic workouts, this watch can do that as well. And if you wanted to create a schedule with notes or you have a stopwatch, a timer, a regular clock, some other stuff like that, this phone can do all of that. Did I also mention that it can also play music? Um, the speaker is not the best in the entire world, but if you want to connect a pair of Bluetooth headphones to this, for example, you don't have to use your phone to scroll through your music. You can literally just use your watch face and it's pretty cool. I don't know. I feel like this is something a lot of you guys might be interested in. And if you are, then you might want to check it out. It's linked down below in the description. I'm not going to say anything more. You can check it out for yourself. Let's get back to Call of Duty Mobile. Ooh, contact with enemy. All right, where's the enemy? This guy. <laughs> I'm not sure what that guy was doing. Hello. All right. I'm obviously not doing ranked gameplay to start things off in case you didn't know. I mean, I thought that was pretty obvious right from the very beginning. New gun! Test this thingy out. I've never actually used this, by the way. Shoot. I got shot. <laughs> Did you hear that? I got shot! Who got shot? Il equalizer kill! Oh, god dang it. Oh my god. Oh no. Alright. Um, yeah, I still have a bit to learn. Dude, I'm doing pretty well. I'm proud of myself. Honestly, for playing on an iPad with Target four fingers... Up. Ooh, okay, all right. My sensitivity when I'm not aiming down sight is a bit too high. My sensitivity, just random hip fire. that is, that's pretty high. I feel like I might have to adjust that just a bit. Hey, there's a guy up there. But yeah, I, you know, how much better do you think I would get if I actually, like, legitimately just switched over to tablet? I, I don't know if I would or not, just because I don't have enough time to really play and probably learn an entirely new, um layout and HUD and everything like that, but it's interesting. It's interesting nonetheless, but it looks like we're we're close to finishing this thing off, guys. Our very first match at nighttime. Going dark. Can I get the last kill? Probably not. Oh, 39 to 33. Come on, team. Let's do it. One more kill. It's all we need. What in the world? I just ran into the smoke and we won. That's nice. All right, sweet. Well, you know, here's another thing that I just noticed. Um, when I'm using a tablet, it, it sort of makes the viewing experience a bit better for you guys. Because if you'll notice how I've edited this video is my face cam isn't covering any of the screen. When I make my face cam videos when I'm using a phone, my, my face cam covers up part of the screen and... I don't have to worry about that issue with an iPad. I can put some random thing underneath my face cam, like it says Call of Duty Mobile or something like that, but I don't have any of the screen interrupted, and that's pretty nice. So, I like that. Alright, so we're gonna go try King plus Pine. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I have never done that before. This is gonna be interesting. It's a 1v1 duel? Really? Watch me 1v1 this guy, okay? I'm gonna do well. <laughs> I can do it. Believe in me. 12 seconds later. I've already died one time. Oh boy. 
This guy is, I think, hiding up on top of this building right here. This thingy. I never do 1v1s in any video game, but where the heck did this guy go? He's right there! What in the world are you doing, boy? Get out of here, stupid. I just can't even believe him. I'm trying to think he can just hide behind a box like that. It don't work that way. All right. All right, all right, all right. You know, I'm actually surprised. I'm... I'm... I'm doing all right. I am doing all right. Um, I'm not doing horribly. I really would have thought... I, pff, I have no idea what that guy is doing. I would have thought that I would have, you know, done absolutely horribly if uh, I tried out, you know, claw method, period. But it doesn't look like that. That means that I could actually practice a bit more and I might actually be able to... Yeah, look at that. Recoil control isn't bad at all. I'm almost dead. <laughs> um, I just need one more kill. And I'll win a 1v1. You better be careful, buddy. Oh, yeah, let's go. Woo! I got the win. Nice. Not that bad. Um, we're going to switch sides. We're going to try something else a little bit different. This, this is, I think this is one of my only um, legendary skins or whatever legendary, the, the, the gold colored ones. So it's, it's special for me. <laughs> I have no Changing idea back. what that guy is doing. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh! He just spawned in. Oh, that is such an unlucky spawn. I feel so bad for that guy, man. I'm getting shot from where exactly? Is he down here? I don't know where this guy just went. Oh, man. He's right here. Come on. Nice. Let's go. Three, three to zero. That guy is just getting destroyed. Let's go. I love this KN44. Four to zero? Sweet. Um, all right. Let's go find him one last time and let's go get the win here. I don't know where he spawned in from. I am OP. Five for five. Let's go. I got the victory. Absolute demolition to that enemy player. Let's go. Sweet. Well, okay. I could. I've tried King Plus Pine. I've tried the other one. Um, I, I want to do a core game mode in. Uh, I don't know. Let's just try one free-for-all match, and then that way we can really see if me versus everybody else, I will do well. Um, I don't know what map I could go into. Maybe I could try something a little bit chaotic, like Shipment 1944. I feel like that could be fun. So uh, hopefully what you guys have been doing is maybe looking at my gameplay, looking at all the stuff that I've done right, what I've done wrong, and you've been compiling a list of different tips and tricks, suggestions for me to get better on a tablet, right? It's not only going to help me, it might help other people who have just recently switched over to a tablet. And I'll give credit when due, all right? I will heart your comments if you give me good suggestions. So please, if you're listening to my voice right now, all right? If you're watching the cinematic of Shipment 1944, please give me suggestions, all right? Um, I feel like I'm really going to fail right here. Just to give you guys a heads up. Um, I was doing all right in the last matches because... I had time to react, to like focus and, you know, you know, get my ground together and stuff like that. But with something like this, with how chaotic it is, I don't know if I'm going to do very well. I'm going to try, certainly, but if I if I fail right here, then that's that's expected. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. I'm about to be Oh my god. <laughs> this is the only area in shipments where I actually can li live longer than like five seconds. What in the world? What in the world is this? Please, keep it going. I'm almost dead. Oh no. Alright. Predator missile. Let's go. Kill both of these guys. Another, another one down. And of course, the second I tried to use my kill streak they got me. Well, it's okay. I needed to die anyways because I ran out of ammo. <laughs> Alright, there's a guy right there. Not really sure what he was planning on doing. 
But, uh, looks like he might have been enjoying the view or something like that. That's alright. It's okay, buddy. I'm not even first place! What?! I've only died one time and I'm not first place? That is upsetting. Are you kidding me right now? Give me the win! I want the win! I want a win, please! Oh, here we go. This is where this is gonna come in clutch. Let's go. We got him. One person down. Two persons down. Three. Four. Let's go! Oh my god! I won! I literally won. I know they weren't. It wasn't a ranked match. But I won in a free-for-all against random things. Random freaking weapons. People with shotguns. Like Anarchy. Whoever that guy is. And this was my very first time ever trying it out with the freaking claw method. Ah! Oh my god! That was pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself. I hope you guys are proud of me. I somehow managed to come out on top. That, that, uh... Special ability that I had, the equalizer, really helped me out there, but, um... Alright! I mean... To be honest, there's not really a whole lot else that I could do. I could be playing for hours and hours at a time, but it's really gonna just look the same to you guys. Um, I tried out some new stuff that came out in this new update, in case you guys wondered. I think Going Dark, by the way, is a really, really cool game mode, and, uh... King and Pine looks like a really, really nice map. It looks very similar to maps I have seen in other mobile games in the past, so maybe they've taken ideas from Call of Duty Mobile. That's pretty interesting. But Going Dark is cool. You're going to see more videos on Going Dark um, pretty soon. Anyways, yeah, um, again, this was my HUD layouts that I used right now. Obviously, you know, there's a couple of things that I needed to fix, like my crouching. You know, I should have probably put that over there. That would have made a little bit more sense to me. And uh, up there, toward the top of my screen, should have probably made that a bit bigger, just for when I use a kill streak or something like that. Um, but yeah, looking at my HUD layout, what do you guys suggest that I do? All right, if you have like something that you want to show me, like your HUD layout on a tablet, you can screenshot it and upload it to something like Imgur imgur.com and then you can send me the link on twitter that would help um and then you know is the fixed joystick does that make sense are my sensitivity controls good maybe i should have them lower maybe i should have them higher i don't know it's all up to uh to you guys to give your suggestions but i hope you guys did enjoy if you did then i would greatly appreciate a like rating and as i said please hit that subscribe button it takes one second it's free you can unsubscribe the second you don't enjoy my content anymore. Thank you so much for watching this far, guys, and I will see you all later.